Hi, editing joys here. I also forgot to mention uh, only a small percentage of people are actually subscribed. So if you wouldn't mind subscribing, it helps a lot. Thank you. Hey guys, I just wanted to make this different type of video because I kind of got some news today, which has just kind of been a bit of a pill to swallow, unfortunately. But let's just put it bluntly: I have a bit of a medical history, and I'm not. I'm not, I'm not gonna make a video of being like, "Oh, I'm dying." Blah, blah, blah. No, no, we're not. We're not those people. We're not those people. But this medical, this thing that happened it does kind of tie in with that. And if anyone I've never really mentioned fully about the actual what happened. It's because back in the day, well, I, I don't want to mention now because, like, the, what actually happened. Because if I mention it now, and let's say the video hits, I don't know, a couple hundred, it'll feel like in my heart that I earned that because I gave up, I gave a sob story instead of actually working hard, getting people to, you know, watch the videos because they actually like it. I don't want people to... Just uh, because of, you know, the sob story. So that's why I wanted to say it out of million Because most of the people who would have been on the channel, let's say at least a couple of, like, let's say 300,000, would have already been like, yeah, I respect you. So I don't want to say it now. But there's something that ties into that. And it's the fact of the matter is, I've been on these growth hormones since I actually bought them out. So, so they're these. They're these kind of like pen things. So I twist them off, and then I get a little piece, and I have to I have to twist this like back piece, and it it tells me how much I need to inject. So like it'll take it, so I have to do like uh I won't give the actual number, but let's say like one. I would twist it to one, and then I would take off these little needle caps, and then I would plunge it into my leg or my stomach, and then I would just sleep between twelve to two because that they said that was the biggest period of growth. I didn't always do that, but like. I did try and always get close enough, but, uh, but anyways, uh, I just kind of heard today, because I hadn't seen me in a year, that I only grew a centimeter, and one centimeter, nothing else, which means the pens aren't working anymore, I've only been taking them about a year now, and yeah, they're not working, which means I'm stuck at kind of the height I'm at, and if people want to know what height I actually am, I'm 5'2". So, maybe when I'm 20, I'll, I'll get, like, a couple extra centimeters, but I'm not growing anymore, unfortunately. And because of what happened, it messed up all my puberty and everything. So, they they just didn't know what to do, and I'm going to carry this with pride, because I actually confused two doctors. <laughs> I, I, I had two doctors in the room, and they were both trying to figure out what to do. They said, hey, we'll put you on it for another six months. Five minutes later... Actually, no, we're going to take you off them. <laughs> it was just ludicrous. But I have to go back in three months, and I have to do a fasting thing, and it's kind of a pain in the ass, but uh, yeah, I, it, this is just me. <laughs> but uh, I'm I'm just a bit sad that I didn't get to hit, you know, a height, because I, I was promised from a young age from my mother that I would have been uh, around six foot. So to be 5'2", which is kind of because, like to mention, this is her fault. Her G, she is lower than me. So she's about five. So she is smaller than me. And my dad, let's say, is around five nine. Like, he's quite tall. He's quite tall. He's not, I'm not going to go like, oh, he's six four. No, he's probably like barely six foot, maybe five eight, five nine. So he's pretty tall. And my sisters are like five seven, five six, and then five four or something. So, yeah, I, uh, we all got kind of the short jeans, short end of the stick, not kind of, not fun, I definitely did, but I, I'm just still trying to swallow it, because, uh, what I, uh, what I originally thought was, oh, maybe they just, like, maybe I missed out on a bunch, they said, no, you, we think you possibly got to the original height you were supposed to be at, but maybe just knock off an inch, so... If that's true, I was always supposed to be this height, and I got promised from a young age that I would have been tall. And that promise was then, anytime I asked, I was like making sure, and yep, that definitely was still there. So, yeah, I've been just kind of swallowing it. It, it all happened today. I'm, I'm, I'm still going to record, I'm still going to be me, I'm just 
just still like processing behind the mask. I'm still thinking. Uh, actually, all my friends know. I I I made a group chat on like WhatsApp and I mentioned to them, and I gave them posts. You know, as I was going, but. They also said I may have to go back on the actual growth hormone because they said I have a thing with, uh, there's a thing called a thyroid. And I, I believe they said it was in the neck. Because, uh, like, the rest of the body's fine, but it's specifically the thyroid that, let's say, appears, because, you know, all of this is brain. Somehow massive brain, but, like, let's say this little bit right here, this tiny little bit, that's supposed to control, like, the thyroid and everything and, like, control the growth. And that thing is working it's working to the bone. It's actually working really hard. Which means I have a small problem with my thyroid. And my thyroid, apparently they said that basically uh, with the thyroid, if there's problems with it, you have to take this medication for, you know, forever pretty much. You could stop at 40, but most people have to go back on it at 60, even if they have no problems. So, yeah, I'm, I may have to go into that. I don't know. I'm still kind of in the dark myself, but basically, uh, the thyroid can also control, because uh, the, the symptoms can be, uh, I think it's uh, getting becoming obese, which I'm actually skinny arm, very, very skinny, so if I become overweight, you'll obviously see that. Uh, they said uh, low energy, but I'm very much a night owl, I've been a night owl since... I was like 10 or 8. Even at 6, I used to try and stay up late as I could. So, low energy, not going to really notice that. Uh, and then uh, there was mood swings, or like mood changes, more, more to be more correct. And yeah, I, I, I haven't noticed any of those. I'm just off the injections now. Like this, I won't be doing them from now on. And they said since they'll check, check up in 3 months, my dad will probably be monitoring me. And because I'll be in better schedule because of school, I will possibly be able to see the low energy sooner. Because if by the middle of the day I'm still tired or I'm still just exhausted and I don't have any mental energy, then we can tell we can obviously tell the thyroid there's something wrong with the thyroid. But yeah, that that all just kind of hit me today. Uh, yeah, it's it's not fun. The only thing I'm proud of, and I shouldn't be, but. If you know, the with any video game character or anything, they have official height. So I checked with Dragon Ball, because, you know, Dragon Ball fan. And I'm actually the height of Lord Frieza. Lord Frieza, 5'2", Vegeta, 5'6", and Goku, 5'9". So I am the height of Lord Frieza. <laughs> so, and uh, it's uh, final form, not first form. So I, I'm kind of proud of that. Because I didn't get someone like Videl. I didn't get someone like Ox King. I didn't get someone like, Bro well, Broly's cool, but like... I didn't get someone like Goten or Trunks. No, I got Frieza. <laughs> so I'm just that 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 kind of makes up for it. I I checked that uh, a couple days before I went for the you know checkup, which you know checkup was today. Yeah, today has just been a little bit. I'm still gonna record some Dead by Daylight, uh, obviously, because your boy's gotta get some victories. Come on, we can do this, Leon for the win. <laughs> uh, but you know, we'll get through it. We'll. It's not the end of the world. Trust me, if my medical history would have gone wrong, I probably would not be here today. So, take what, that, take what you will from that. Doesn't matter. I'll explain that all later on down the line in YouTube. Thank you all for listening. 